Hello everyone and welcome to another Tamagotchi Nano review video. This time I'm going to be reviewing the Tiny Tan Tamagotchi which is the BTS Tamagotchi Nano collaboration or BTS Tiny Tan rather. So this is the Hug My Nano version which I got with Suga and he's pretty cute. I chose him because I like the blue head boy, he's pretty cute. And again as I mentioned in my unboxing video for the Tiny Tan Tamagotchi I'm not super uh, familiar with uh, BTS or Tiny Tan, so please forgive me, I don't know the characters and I don't have too much of a connection to this franchise or I guess K-pop band or, or what have you. But in any case, so as I showed off in the unboxing video, the first stage is a door and you can either knock on the door or you can clean the door and then after about an hour it uh, changes into a, um, a a band member and it comes up with the band member's name and it effectively implies that the door has opened and that is the character, which is an interesting take rather than just you start off with a plain looking character who evolves into a character from that series or franchise or whatever. For example, the Demon Slayer one, you get a a character who's not a character, it's just kind of like a vague sort of character design, but it's not actually a character from the series, and then it evolves into a character. So this is different because you get a door. And also the game that you start off with as a door is different. So let's check out the gameplay once you are a human. So these, which were words... And that when you are a door, change into icons. You get the knife and fork to signify food. And you can feed food or sweets. And then it becomes, yeah, it's, it's more straightforward once it uh, evolves from not being a door. Instead of just the animation with the door, you can actually interact with a character. The door stage itself is fairly boring. It's not as... Uh, fun and cute as when it's an actual person and then or a character rather and then of course pressing C gets you the um to check on the status of the character how happy the character is and then the music symbol are the games so you get dynamite and you get looks like a custard tart or an egg tart or something so first of all let's check out dynamite and these are two different games you don't get when you are the door. So this game is the... It tells you what buttons to press and you press them. And as I always mention, the Tamagotchi Nano games are all the same sort of games selected from a, uh, a compilation of games really. So they all come from the same pool. There's usually like a... There's this game and then there's like a button mashing game. There's an obstacle game, a catch game. And they all have their own take and usually signify something from that franchise or series. For example, if it's an anime, you might have something that's important to the show, like a special scene. Anyway, so let's check out the egg tart or custard tart one. And what does it want me to do? It wants me to press a button. Okay, so this is the one where it wants you to press a button when it's perfect. It's like a timing game. So you don't want too little and you don't want too much. Usually that game you have to select when an option is in the middle. Sometimes it's a photo taking one, sometimes it's an aiming one where you have to time it so the character's in the middle or what have you. So there's just those two games. Usually there are three, but I guess technically there are three because there's two now and then there's the one when you are at the door. But uh, yeah, so that's basically it in terms of the gameplay on the Tiny Town Nano. The animations don't feel as fantastic as they are in the other Tamagotchi Nano collaborations. It feels kind of basic, just a character bopping around the screen. Even the 
status check is just kind of basic. Usually it's like a close-up or something that's well animated. And uh, yeah, it's th that. that's that. In terms of the poo mechanic, which is always on a virtual pet, instead of doing anything with that, the character looks sad and I think is facing a door. So it looks like it's going back to the door and then you press a button and you clear that. So that is the uh, the toilet care uh, functionality replacement there. So uh, yeah, that's the Tiny Tan Nano. In terms of my rating for it, enjoyment is always, uh, sorry, ease of use is always a 10. It's the same functionality as all the other Nanos, so I'm going to have to give it a 10 for ease of use. Enjoyment is the one that changes a little bit more through all my reviews. Uh, I'm not sure if it's because I'm not super familiar with the BTS members or the Tiny Tan characters or what have you, but I'm going to have to give it like a 7.5 or maybe, maybe just a, I'll give it a 7 just so it's like a round number. But yeah, it's, it's fine. The door stage is an interesting take, but it does make a little bit more boring. I do like the animations and I feel like the animations are slightly lacking on this Tamagotchi but I do appreciate the uh, the Hug My uh, characters that you get. It is a shame that all the Hug My shells are just this standard black colour rather than a character, like a colour that's themed after the character or the band member, I guess, in this case. Like I know with the other Hug Mys, they are cut, the shell is coloured in the same sort of colour scheme as the Hug My, but this is not the case for um for this one. But in any case, those are my thoughts for the Tiny Tan Tamagotchi. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like this video for a happy little cute blue boy. And of course, I will see you all in the next video, so make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. So yeah, I will see you then. Bye!